The day that Mr. Ragueta was at the office, I wasn't there. And I immediately called him back on that day, that I'm so sorry for what happened. I remember speaking with Carrie, and I told her that it was ordered. My apology, I understand. It was just not selected in our system. That's why we missed it. I can refund it to you, which she kept telling me, no, you think that's enough? That's not enough. I need more. So what happened is I told her, let me go back to the owner. Let me find out what I can do for you, and I'll call you back. Mm -hmm. And the next, very next day, before I even had a chance to talk to him to figure out what we can do, we received the charge back. And then she called me back right after. She said, well, what are you going to do? You were supposed to call me. And at that moment, I said, I'm so sorry. There's nothing I can do right now because you already disputed. I'm sorry. Is, is that correct, uh, Gary? Yeah, I just, I, so a number of days had gone by. There, was, there wasn't a, a credit to my credit card. And if he had agreed to the refund, it should have been on the credit card then, but it wasn't. I, I, think, I think we're good. Anything further? Mm -hmm. Judge, anything further? No. Okay, well, thank you both very much. You're excused while we deliberate in this matter. Thank you. This courtroom is now in recess. Here, here is the issue. There's no question that there was an element of negligence on the part of the plaintiffs. Yeah. And what we're looking at from the defendant is almost like uh, as if it was a lawsuit based on negligence for failing to deliver something that was of great emotional importance to them. And how would we settle that? We know that the plaintiff has a special duty to treat not only the pet with dignity, but also the grieving pet owner. When you look at the law with respect to emotional distress, there is no formula to see what is emotional distress worth? How do you put a price tag on it? I'll throw out a suggestion. We know that the cost for these services was $817. Defendant feels he didn't get what he paid for. So is there, in addition to saying, well, okay, we're going to dismiss the plaintiff's cause of action because they were negligent and they failed to deliver something very special and important to the defendant. And on top of that, we feel that your behavior was reckless or showed such a lack of remorse or compassion that you poured salt on the wound. And if so, how much more can we give for the loss? I can throw out three times the value of the services. In this case, would be approximately $2,500. I'd like to hear both of you on the issue of, was there something beyond what we would, would say would be compensatory damages required here? You know how I feel about emotional distress I claims. <laughs> <laughs> I deplore them, and I think they are way overly used. But I don't even think we need to go here for this one. I think this is a breach of contract case. There is precedent that if the contract is one of a particularly sensitive nature, there can be special damages flowing from a breach of contract, just alone, without having to prove extreme and outrageous conduct. I don't think they engaged in any extreme or outrageous conduct. They made a mistake. Mm -hmm. I don't think the defendant should be charged for any of the services, but I don't see you know, compelling we beyond that. emotional distress beyond that that I can separate from losing Hunter. You, you don't think that his relationship was extraordinarily... I, I, I do believe. But to me, that's the extreme emotional distress, is the loss of the pet, not the inability to obtain a paw print. I think a large percentage of it is that, just the loss itself. But not having something left behind that he really expected to be able to physically touch and see every day is hard. So I feel that there is some emotional distress attached to not having that what, paw print. What I'm going to recommend, in addition to dismissing the complaint, emotional distress damages in the amount of $2,500 on the basis of a calculation of three times the value of the... I would dissent from that part of the verdict. I think I would dismiss both claims. You guys agreed you would dismiss the plaintiff's claim, right. but you disagree with me on the defendant's claim. Yeah. And I want you to stress, because I'm going to agree with, with you, Michael, because of the paw print, that our $2,500 award to the defendant isn't saying that they've done anything that was intentional. Yes. All right, we have a verdict.